Bobby Petrino is coming back to the SEC. How does that make you feel? Obviously, judging by my inbox and my text, it makes you feel a lot of ways. I heard a lot of things from people about this over the past 48 hours. What I never heard is, Bobby Petrino, eh, don't really care one way or the other. No one said that. Everyone has an opinion here. My opinion, it's a pretty good hire for Texas A&M. The moment I say that, I think a solid 50% of the audience is probably saying, shame on you. Shame on you for endorsing this man's behavior. I endorsed his football acumen. That's what I just endorsed. And so what I would like to do tonight is I would like to participate in an exercise with you. I'm not talking to the people necessarily who think it's a good hire, because you and I agree. But in the interest of conversation and talking things through the way we always do on this show, whether you're an A&M fan or not, I want you to take a second. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to answer it for me. And even though I, I can't technically hear you, trust me, I will pretty much know what you're going to say. Why don't you like this hire for Texas A&M? And to be clear, the hire is Bobby Petrino, offensive coordinator for Texas A&M. Why don't you like the hire? Three, two, one. Okay. Hopefully you got it out. I didn't have time to give you a great deal of time to answer there. But did your answer have anything to do with football? Uh, most of you didn't. I know because I've asked everyone who's pushed back on me. I got plenty of friends who've done it. I've got a lot of folks who are internet acquaintances of mine, I guess we would say. I've had a lot of pushback. A lot of pushback on Bobby Petrino becoming the offensive coordinator at Texas A&M. It's just the thing about it is none of it's been football related. It's all been off field, extracurricular, character related, and it's all true. It's very well documented. There's not, not much about this guy's past that is shrouded in mystery and secrecy. We know, trust me, we know. Here's the exercise I would like you to participate in with me tonight if you do not like this hire. We need to use a metaphor. We need to go down that road. I need you to pretend with me for just a second. So it's like, for example, if I were in charge of scanning the city to hire a new Boy Scout troop leader, and I bring a guy in because he's got this sterling reputation in the community, and he works at the soup kitchen three days a week, and he's just a pillar of the community. His Pee Wee football team goes two and 10 every year, but he's a great character guy. I bring him in and I tell him, thanks, but no thanks. We're not giving you the job. And he asks why. And I say, well, your peewee team's kind of terrible. If you found out about that, you would say to me what? You would probably say to me, you're not hiring him to be a football coach, are you? You're, you're, you're hiring him to be a scout leader. He's everything in terms of intangibles that those young men need. He's a, he's a great example of what they should want to grow up to be. I get all that, but... His peewee team goes 2-10. and ten. Like, he sucks as a football coach. What do you guys want me to tell you? Well, that wouldn't make much sense. Nor, in my opinion, does it make a lot of sense when I look at Texas A&M 101st in the country in points per game and me knowing this guy immediately makes him better. Or A&M 79th rush yards per game, 84th pass yards per game, 93rd total yards per game. Bobby Petrino makes him better, better, better immediately being hired. I want him to be a football coach. I don't need him to be a scout leader. The minute, if he does, that he has indiscretion off the field that brings shame on the university, here's what would happen. He'd be fired, and that'd be the end. That's the risk, which I don't think is much of a risk. The plus side is you immediately upgraded your personnel in terms of your coaching staff. You immediately, if play calling is truly being handed over to him, upgraded on Saturday. Is that not the name of the game here? This is not a sport that is coached by angels. It's not a sport that's played by angels. Basically, I'm just rehashing a lot of what I said when Auburn hired Hugh Freeze, because you know my thoughts on that too. I need the guy to coach football. In this case, I don't need him to be the face of my program even. He's not my head coach. He's going to go sit in an office. You'll rarely hear from him. You'll see him on Saturdays, and I don't know how many play sheets... He plans on holding in his hand, but I need him to do a better job than Jimbo Fisher's been doing when it comes to calling plays and when it comes to getting my team ready to play winning football. If he can do that, I'm okay with some negative headlines in his past. The reason, once again, is because of what I need him to do. 
and the boxes I need Bobby Petrino to check, he checks. Now, here's the follow-up question. Will it work? That I don't know. I can like the hire. Sure, I told you I like the hire. Will it work? I don't know, and you will not know. Texas A&M fans won't know. People who cover the program won't know. You won't know until a couple of weeks into the season. Really, Bobby Petrino at Texas A&M, will it work? You won't know until they struggle. You don't find out if this is real in spring. Jimbo Fisher could be dead serious, for the record, about handing over play calling duties and relinquishing control of certain aspects of his program and delegating. It's a word we have rarely heard offensively around him. He could be serious about all that. I, I go back to the age-old standby metaphor of teaching a kid how to drive. It's one thing if we're down in the, in the Civic Center parking lot after dark and it's a wide open parking lot and you're just doing donuts in the Ford at like 15 miles an hour, nobody's worried about the kid being 14 years old when he's doing donuts in the parking lot at 10 o'clock at night because there's no risk. There's no risk in spring football. No one cares. There is no instinct from Jimbo Fisher to grab the reins. There is no risk even really in fall camp of that happening. But when they struggle for the first time, could be week two, could be week six, whenever. When they struggle, think about Texas A&M going into the locker room down 17 to six. That's when the kid's no longer in the parking lot. That's when he's out on the open road and he's starting to drift towards the center line a little bit and there is an 18 wheeler on coming. That's when dad's hand reaches over instinctively and grabs the wheel. That's when you'll find out if it's real. If you really trust the kid, you sit back and say for better or for worse, our lives are in his hands. If Jimbo Fisher's serious about this, that's when you'll find out. When they trail, when they're struggling, when things aren't running smoothly, does Jimbo Fisher reach over and take control like several coaches have done before? Or does he say, I hired this guy to do a job for better or for worse, I'm gonna let him do it. Now Jimbo would say it seven times faster than I just did, but that's when we'll find out. So I don't know if it's gonna work. I have no clue because I really can't get inside that guy's head. Only he can do that. But what I do know is he hired a guy who will have no problem looking him back in the eye and telling him exactly what he thinks, which is what they needed out there. Uh, this is not a 27-year-old hotshot coordinator who, who Jimbo coached his dad uh, 30 years ago. This is not that. This is not a guy who will lower his head and look at Jimbo's feet when he starts chewing him out. This is Bobby Petrino. That guy probably has about as much emotional callus built up as you could possibly have. There is nothing that's going to come out of Jimbo Fisher's mouth that would ever make a, a shade of red appear on Bobby Petrino's cheeks, at least more so than it's already there. So, I like the hire. Doesn't mean it's a slam dunk. I think Texas A&M's coaching staff got better. That should be the goal. Anything else is extracurricular and, quite frankly, stuff that I don't care about uh, because it's non-football related. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Make sure you like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Not just for me. That's how we keep this entire thing free.